guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we are going to be doing another hair color removing video. Surprise, surprise. We are going to be using the Behind the Zone Radical Color Remover. If you have not seen my previous um, color removing video, it was a complete fail. I tried the Malibu DDL, I did it wrong, I didn't have enough, it was just a disaster. I will leave a link to that video right up here if you want to see me fail at life. Today we are going to be using these and we are going to be doing it the right way. So you can either mix this with water if you want a more mild color remover or you can mix it with developer to get a little bit more of a stronger lift. My hair is like towel dry, it's just like a little bit damp so it's going to be easier for me to spread this on my hair since it's going to be a little bit wet. I have also decided to use the developer. I don't really want to, but I also want this color out of my hair, so I'm gonna use the developer and hope that that works. I'm also going to be using both packets, so hopefully I will have enough color this time. I'm solving all the problems that went wrong last time, so I'm not gonna make this a fail video. This is gonna be great. My hair is gonna be blonde by the end of this. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, two ounces of developer per packet, so four ounces of developer total. I just read the ingredients for the Malibu DDL, which I used last time, and the Beyond the Zone. They have the exact same ingredients. So this you can only buy if you're licensed or online. This you can buy at Sally Beauty. There you go, it's a perfect switcher outer. So if you're not licensed, you can get the Beyond the Zone from Sally Beauty. Honestly, that makes me so happy that they're the exact same thing because I feel like I have a second chance now to see if it works and see how well it would have worked if I would have done it correctly. So we're doing everything 100% right this time. We're not gonna fail. Putting this on damp hair is going to help me spread this around way easier. All right, we got her mixed up. We definitely have enough, so let's begin this process. Again, I said this in my last video, but because I am using 10 volume developer, I have to be careful with where I'm applying this. If I get this on my regrowth or my roots, it will lift them, which I'm not trying to do. I really am just trying to remove this end color right here. I purchased Punky Color Remover at Sally Beauty, but it is pretty much just bleach. I'm gonna try not to use that and only use it if it's my last resort because I'm really trying not to put bleach on my hair because I feel like most color removers are just bleach and they're like, oh, it's a color remover. Like the Joyco Color Eraser is pretty much just bleach. It works amazing. It works better than bleach does to remove direct dyes, but it's pretty much just bleach. Lunar Tides does not play. <laughs> if I wanted to keep this color, I would definitely continue to use Lunar Tides because this shit does not come out of your hair. Doesn't look like it's doing anything yet. See, this is a thing. <laughs> I want to try this stuff for you guys, but at the same time, if I just did the baking soda method, this would have already been out of my hair. Like, it would have been gone. I could have watched it dissolve in front of my eyes in five minutes or less. That's why I just continuously do the same thing over and over is because I know it works and it comes out so fast and it doesn't damage my hair as much as color removers or bleach. Okay, we just have this section right here. Everything is applied, it's saturated pretty well. Doesn't look like anything is happening, even on this side. Minimum of 15 minutes, maximum of 45 minutes. I'm probably gonna shoot for 30. I'm gonna check it every five minutes and see if it's lifting. Not putting any heat or anything on it. I am going to put a shower cap on just to maintain the moisture so it does not dry out. All right guys, I'm back. It is the next day. Here is how my hair turned out. As you can see, it actually did quite a bit. It lifted a lot of the colors out of my hair. I am still stuck with the orange and some red that will not come out of my hair. I did have a little bit of hair come out when I brushed my hair. My brush had some hair in it. So there is some chemical damage. Here is how my hair turned out. The orange is still pretty vibrant, but for the most part, it definitely lifted a lot of the colors out and faded a lot. Like now this is like very blonde. So yeah, it definitely works. And now we know that the Malibu DDL would have worked too because they had the same ingredients. So it would have done this exact same thing to my hair. I did get the color remover on my roots in some places and it did lift my roots. Right here is a spot. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but right here, some of it got on my roots and it's like a lighter brassy blonde just in this area. 
for the most part, I was pretty good about not getting it on my roots, but in some places it did touch and it did lighten. So just keep that in mind if you're wanting to use this. That is all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that will be in the description down below. I post way more of my day-to-day -day life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Thank you.